you're meant to live an amazing life. If you've watched the video on, oh, well, this, there's a shit ton of them, right? If you've watched the video on how to measure the metric of success, which is the growth index for a stress response that predicts academic, physical success, and also in profoundly superior military performance. So if you haven't watched that, please check it out. Should be information below on that. If you haven't watched the About Me, you might want to consider watching that too because um, it's pretty raw and uh, I went through a lot of crap and that's the reason why I've had to get this right. Three steps, the Mark I method. Step one, this is the one we're going to drive into here today. So back in the 20s, 1920s, we started producing these chemicals and they're, they're now, now <laughs> I've, I've done so many videos today. They're now known as endocrine disrupting. And there's two classes. You've got estrogenic-like, but then you've got pure endocrine disrupting. But the beautiful thing is that you don't have to, you know, know the science behind it, the biochemistry behind it. You just have to know where these sons of bitches are lurking so you can take them out. And they're everywhere. You won't believe where they are. Your kids could be playing on them now. Fake artificial grass. A lot of it, not all of it, but a lot of it is estrogenic. And this isn't good for your kids, believe you me. So let's begin our journey. So point number one, I'll just briefly go over them. Testosterone and DHEA are rare commodities. They have dropped twofold since the 1940s. And there was an exponential rise in the drop of testosterone since the late 1980s. Now, testosterone will take a hit for the team to make estradiol, estrogen. Why? To protect your heart and arteries. And I'll show you how to fix that so you're not wasting, sacrificing testosterone. Testosterone is a good man. It takes a hit for the team and sacrifices itself to protect your heart by converting itself through the aromatase enzyme into estradiol. And... Uh, I'll show you that these estrogenic endocrine disrupting chemicals are inflaming you. And as you've seen in previous videos, inflammation, what it does is switches off neural circuits in the brain like rational thought, like willpower, higher thinking, executive control. So as soon as we're inflamed, it gets bad. But the, th the thing about this is, and listen carefully to this because it took me a while to understand this, you don't feel it. Right, as inflammation builds up, it goes around switching off different neural circuits in your brain like this till you get the end to the end of the day, and it's like, oh, I'm just done with this shit. I've had enough. Right? But it's got its partner in crime. Cortisol. Cortisol, as Professor Sapolsky has said, it harbors aggression, so we get snappy with our kids. So that inflammation isn't good. And testosterone takes another hit for the team. And we'll have a look at that later. And Western slave food, if you saw or listened to that podcast I did with Dr. Ken Berry, board certified MD, you'll know what that's all about. Does estrogen stress you out? It certainly does. And I'll show you how, how that happens and how you can stop that from happening when we get to point six. Point number seven is it's screwing up unborn babies, unfortunately, and there's lots of science behind this. And uh, let's make plastics not clear. Wait, what? Just uh, wait till we get to that. So that's basically the, the steps and strap your seatbelts on <laughs> and let's go. All right, there we go. So testosterone is a rare commodity along with DHEA to hydroepiandosterone. Ever since the 40s, you know, when these estrogenic like chemicals started coming, or ever since the 20s, they started coming in. Now, before we move forward, it's, it's not just about us, okay? This is for your kids, your grandkids, your great, your great grandchildren, but also they found this shit in polar bears, you know. 
It's leached into our waterways, into our oceans. It's affecting everything on the planet. No one, no one can hide from this. But I'm going to give you everything you need to make sure that you have very little of this crap coming into your amazing body. The body that your mum and your dad gifted you with. So, you know, it's a pretty important topic. We have to start cleaning up the planet and there's lots of, you know, hard-working scientists and PhDs, functional medical doctors putting out the good word. But as you'll soon see, you know, the uh, economy is driven by a lot of these plastics and they're profiting from it. You know, petroleum products are estrogenic. So you can understand the big issue that we've got. But with, you know, with us standing up together and, um, you know, we don't have to shout out loud. We just, we just choose to buy the things, the products that don't have these crappy ass chemicals in them. And then the, the companies will start to listen and start to get rid of these toxic chemicals from our planet. So we won't be affected. Our partners won't be affected. Your kids, your grandkids, and all the life forms on the planet will stop being affected. So ever since the, the 40s, two-fold drop in testosterone, holy shit. I did an interview with Dr. Amy B. Keelan. She pointed me to a research paper that showed the massive drop ever since the 80s, late 80s, that this massive drop. So you can go check out that podcast. I've actually got it here within the Mark I Method. So you know, I've got an excerpt of it. And Dr. Anthony J, who sequenced, well, showed me how to optimize my genetics, has written a book all about this. So he's one of these hardworking scientists trying to put the good word out there about these toxic damn chemicals. But again, this isn't hard to fix. This is very easy to fix when you know what they are. So he wrote a book about this. You know, when he did his PhD, PhD dissertation on cholesterol and estrogen, testosterone, DHEA, he started to find this shit. And that's why he decided, well, this is important. I better damn well write about this. And that's exactly what the great man did. So I am so blessed that I came across Dr. Anthony Andy's book. But look at, you know, as I mentioned up here, the 1980s, right? So, 1990s was looking like, you know, kind of okay. But look at this shit. You know, testosterone helps you stay lean. So does DHEA. Estrogen, this is estrogen mimics store fat. That's its whole MO in life. Store fat. So they're going at these fake little estrogens are going around your body, pressing on these buttons, your receptors, making you fat, making you tired, making you, you know, I had man boobs in my 20s and 30s because of this shit. Now, you know, if the word's getting out, as I said, Australian scientists are calling for a total ban of just one of them. I mean, there's so many of them. The European Union, you know, uh, they've banned a lot of this crap. I want to go live there, right? Because it's, you know, they're banning this shit. Ever since the two, you know, 2004, now the Australian scientists are saying, come on, we've got to fix this. But again, the economy is driven by this crap. So the, this is what one of the Melbourne research scientists, Professor Pask, said. We found a change in gene expression in the liver following atrazine, which is one of these chemicals, Two genes implicated in fat uptake were found to be overexpressed, so, right, we're getting fatter, and early stage of fatty liver disease. Now over here, we know that the combined effects of weight gain, right, this is what's happening, and decreased sperm quality, right, so we're becoming infertile as well. So it's effect. Now also, Dr. Anthony's book where I'm circling around here, has shown that this, that's what the scientists are finding. Lots and lots of these hardworking scientists are finding this and putting out the good word. But it's falling on deaf ears for a lot of the part, for a lot of the time. And here's the reason why: financial ties. Now, this Dr. Mark Heyman here, who I follow and respect highly, has been putting out the good word for a long time now, and you know. 
This says it all. I always ask why, says Dr. Mark. Why are we sick? It's the food. Why do we have this food? It's the food system. Why do we have the food system? It's our food policy. Why do we have these policies? Trillion dollar, $15 trillion industry, right? But, um, you know, you don't have to sit there and eat this shit, right? You can change. That's the beautiful thing. And it's not difficult. You don't, you don't need to count calories. You don't need to do this and that and the other thing. But, you know, it's pervasive, okay? It's, it's not just our food. It's in our personal care products. You'll be amazed where it's found. It's even on fake-ass grass that you find in child daycare centers. So, just exploring this a bit further. So, look, there's been decades of research on these endocrine-disrupting chemicals. And again, don't sweat it. This is easy to fix, right? I mean, seriously easy, easy to fix. But this research paper put out in 2007, right, already saying a decade. So you see how far the government's behind with their crap? The European Union decided to ban this in 2004. I mean, come on. I mean, shit. Come on. We've got to do the same. But look at look here, endocrine disrupting, all right? Estrogenic, store fat, tired. Anti-androgenic, which means testosterone is tapped down. Feminizing us, estrogenic man boobs, feminizing us, man. But ladies, I mean, it's, it's disrupting you as well. Thyroid disrupting. Now, I, this is one of my lists, and as I mentioned at the beginning of this, I've, it's, I've got a more comprehensive list now. And, you know, it started coming into the system in the 1920s. 84,000 of these chemicals, and again, it's not just us. It's the whole world. Like, Dr. Anthony, in his book, he pointed out that, that it's affecting fish, fish, <laughs> fish and their fertility. So maybe, just think about it like this, maybe it's not overfishing. If it's affecting their fertility, and there are scientific papers saying 50%, 50%, maybe it's not overfishing. What do you think? If you're a fisherman, that's got to piss you off, right? They're telling us to stop fishing so much. All right, moving along. So the Endocrine Society, in 2009, put out a warning, fell on deaf ears, and then they put out another warning. Still, again, it fell on deaf ears. Now, these scientists have had to come up with these really cool names like diabetogens, diabetes, and obesogens, and this stuff causes, listen carefully, causes insulin resistance. So you can't burn your own body fat. When insulin is up, insulin resistance, you can't burn your own body fat. Very, very slowly do you burn body fat, body fat, so you get more cravings, you're tireder, you're more lethargic. So here's another research paper here. Now look at this shit. Obesogens, look at these chemicals. Diabetogens, cardiovasculature. <sighs> it's, it's kind of everywhere. So here's how. It steals your testosterone. Testosterone is a good man. It takes a hit for the team. It sacrifices itself. It sacrifices itself for the greater good. So this research paper here. Oh, this actually, I'm ahead of myself. This one is showing that one of these chemicals here, this one here, TBT, vasculature dysfunction, right? So I'm leading into testosterone wasting. Small doses. Small doses. So vasculature, right? We're on that theme, on that story. So testosterone, this research paper here, says that it attenuates expression of vasculature cell adhesion molecule by conversion to estradiol by aromatase. Aromatase is the enzyme that takes your testosterone and turns it into E2. And what that does is it protects you from atherosclerosis and heart disease. So testosterone, the good man is taking it for the team. But this is inflammation, right? This shouldn't be happening. And again, this stuff causes inflammation. And so does high insulin. 
that causes inflammation. So it's all driving and feeding itself. Not cool. And more research. This is why I had man boobs in my 20s and 30s because when I also had my genome sequenced by Dr. Anthony J, it turns out I've got very potent estrogen receptors. So I don't need a lot of estrogen to elicit a very profound effect in my body. You could be the same. So if you, if you put on weight quick like I used to, then this could be a problem. Now, phthalates are one of these chemicals. Phthalates are the most pervasive. 30 billion pounds have been produced yearly. So where are they being injected? PVC products, building materials, paints, adhesives, wall coverings, and it doesn't need to be there. It just makes it more convenient and easier for these big companies to make. But they don't have to. They don't have to. So pharmaceuticals, yeah. So let me just put it this way. If you put on a condom, it's in that. <laughs> They've even found that Dr. Anthony J, when I was speaking to him, they, the pharmaceutical companies have got to, I think, 2022 20, or 23 to get it out of, wait for it, IV drips, phthalates. That's not good. It's causing inflammation. I don't even know how it's even possible. But, you know, these big pharmaceutical companies, they've got a lot of sway with the government, apparently. So... That concludes the very first one. So if you can see that there's a big problem, you'll also be very happy to know, I'm just scrolling back up here to close this one down, that it's very easy to fix, very easy to fix. So if you don't wanna watch the rest of this and you just want the steps, there's information below about where you can grab the three steps that I've condensed down to very simple and easy steps to get rid of this shit out of your life. But not just your life, remember, your kids, your grandkids, and the planet. This shit's been going into the planet for far too long, since the 1920s, and it's about time you and I stood up and decided, no more, we're done, all right? And it's not going to take much extra cost for these companies to clean up their act. And we have to speak you and I have to speak with our wallet to buy the ones that are free of this crap. Then they'll start to listen to us. They'll start making the products estrogenic free and endocrine disrupting free. Are you with me? Because if you are, we've got to stand up. We've got to save the planet. We've got to do it for the, our grandkids. It's not just for us, but we're going to feel so much better when we get this right. So if you're with me, you know what to do. Read the information below and uh, take the next step.